So this is a YA200 from King Bolin. They sent me this to do a review on. They call it a code reader, but it's a little more than a code reader. All you gotta do is plug it in. Now you're gonna have to find your port to plug it into. It's gotta be 18 inches from the center of the steering wheel in a right circle. Okay, when you plug this in, this is the screen you're gonna get. You can go up here to DTCs. And there's no pending codes on this one. Um, VIN number. <coughs> This will tell you the VIN number, what you're working on, which could be handy at a parts store or something. And the IM monitors. On this one, all the monitors have RAN. That's why there's a green check beside them. The grayed out ones means it doesn't um, pertain to this vehicle. If you have a bunch of red checks, that means they have not RAN. And you would wonder if the battery been unhooked or if it just had the clothes cleared. If you just have one, just say like with the EVAP, and if it was just a red X, you may have an EVAP problem. Just a quick way to know what monitors monitors have ran. On some, it can take up to so many starts and 100 miles to do all these tests over again. Now we're gonna go back. Now we're gonna hit OK here. It's going to hook us up with the communications to the car. Mill status is off. If you hit this button right down here now, it'll bring you here to these read codes, erase codes, live data, freeze frame, vehicle info would be your VIN number, I am readiness is what we just saw when you hit this button. Um, mode 6, that's you can get a lot of information from your car. You have to go there, run the test, and Google it to make sure because it's not the same for all cars. O2 sensor test. It said this was too old of a vehicle, not able to run the test. And component test. If you hit that and hit OK, it comes up to EVAP leak test, which it wouldn't run on this either. It's an 04 Chevy GMC. Now freeze frame data, that'll tell you when the code set, what was going on. So let's scroll down using the arrow buttons, live data, and we'll hit OK. And we're going to go here to all data stream. You got record and playback. I think you can do up to 10 recordings. And it'll show you frame by frame. Hold the OK button for two seconds. That's if you're down here on the ECT, say, and you want to keep it up on top, you hold that and it'll, it'll make it go up on top. Now here's the live info it'll give you. Short-term fuel trims are good to know. And then you can read the live data here if you go back to graph and then hit OK. Now if you go down, just say the engine coolant temperature, if you go down to there and hit OK now, see it brings up OK. Now hit this back button and it takes you to the graft and you can watch that. You can do it for the mass airflow sensor. Um, any of those listed you can get a graft on it. So I made the check engine light come on. I pulled the spark plug wire off. So if you hit OK. On the diagnostic mode. Right here you'll see mill light status on. Read codes. The 
Let's get down to pending codes. Random multiple cylinder. Say in a PO3000. I just ran it long enough it hasn't decided it which cylinder it was yet. Now if you go back to the main screen and go over one and DTC lookup. Now I've had my best luck just doing it in generic. And you'll see here P you hit the arrow button, you'll see the little line go right underneath of it. Then you go up until I hit three and zero. Takes you this way, changes the value. Okay, now if you hit OK, random we know what it is because I did it. So I made the repair, I put the plug wire back on. See it runs good. Now we want to get rid of that engine code light. So I want to get rid of that engine light. I'm going to hit OK on this. Okay, now we got this screen here. See, mill status on. We'll hit this. And here it'll let me erase codes. So I'll go. I'll scroll down to erase codes, and I'll hit OK. Now it has been cleared. So now, when we start the truck up, check engine light should be going, and it is. Now that we reset those codes, remember I was telling you the IM monitor here. See all the red X's now? We had all green before I reset that code. That's why I say it'll take these maybe 100 miles and a few starts to relearn everything. So if you're looking at a car, that's a good way to know that, hey, you know, maybe the battery's been disconnected or someone cleared the codes. Maybe they was working on it. No. You can go to record. I'm going to do short term fuel trim. OK. So then I'll hit this button. Slot one, I've already had stuff in. Slot number two, if I hit OK. See, it starts recording frame by frame. When I want to stop recording, I hit this return button. Now, you go here to playback, hit OK. What I just recorded when you was watching, see there's the first frame, second frame. It'd be different if I had a truck running. But see, you can record and go frame by frame. So if you was hitting the gas or letting up or something like that, you could be able to go in and see what was going on. So it's really, it's more than just a code reader. It'll do a lot more than just read codes. You get live data, can really help you out. Freeze frame data can really help you out. Now if you scroll down the battery test, hit OK. It's telling me that I'm 11.7. You can see the min, the max, and you see the graph coming by. Now watch when I start it. See how it goes to 14.6 for max and min's 10.2. Now this thing's set for almost a month, but 11.9 volts, I may want to do some battery testing.